This is video 29.3. We will be studying half-life and rate of decay. The question. A radioactive isotope of cesium has a half-life of 30.8 seconds. If we have a 25 gram sample, we'd like to know how many nuclei are present initially and after five minutes, how many are left? And what is the activity at this time? That is, how many decays per second are there at five minutes? We'll start by finding the initial number of nuclei. Now, the atomic mass of this isotope is 124, which implies that there is an Avogadro's number of nuclei, i.e. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 nuclei in 124 grams. That's what that means to have an atomic mass of 124. However, we have 25 grams, not 124, which means that the number of nuclei we will have will be Avogadro's number times the fraction 25 over 124 because that's the fraction that we have when compared to a whole mole. So this is 1.21 times 10 to the 23 nuclei. Now let's find the decay rate. This is the expression which describes radioactive decay. It states that the number of nuclei there are at a time t is equal to the number there was initially times e to the minus lambda where lambda is the decay rate and t the time. Now I'll go through how to derive the decay rate once you know the half-life. If we divide both sides by n sub zero we have this expression and by definition the half-life is the time at which the left-hand side, n over n0, is equal to one-half. That's when half of the original number of nuclei remain. So now it's just a matter of solving for lambda. And in order to do this, we have to take the natural log of both sides. We can rearrange to solve for lambda. We were given the half-life and we can calculate the natural log of one half. This works out to be 0 0.0225 inverse seconds. Now we prepare to find the number of nuclei remaining after five minutes. Once again, we start with this expression, and now we can plug in the initial number of nuclei, which we found. We can plug in the decay rate, lambda, and for the time, we have five minutes. There's 60 seconds in a minute, so this is five times 60 seconds. And we obtain the number of nuclei. Now let's find the radioactivity at that time. The radioactivity, i.e. the number of decays per second, the change in nuclei per change in time, is equal to lambda, the decay rate, times n, the number of nuclei present at that time. We can plug in the values that we know and we obtain the decay rate, 3.2 times 10 to the 18 decays per second. And that concludes video 29.3. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.